What's up guys? It's your girl Nicole Dot Young. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. In today's video, we are going to be digging deeper into the topic of all things tech freelancing and talking more about the topic of narrowing your focus when you are going into freelancing to help you stand out in the industry. In this video, I talked briefly about how you can do this by focusing on a particular industry or type of client that you serve. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about skill sets that you can focus in that can help you stand out in the industry. The specializations that I mentioned in today's video will be especially great if you are trying to gain clientele in the skills that you have in HTML and CSS, code, or design. So let's get right into it. into today's video, I wanted to give a special shout out to the sponsor, and that is Udacity. Udacity offers a ton of amazing scholarship to those of you who want to learn new tech skills to take your careers to the next level, such as the City Scholarship that is open until March 28th, 2022, to anyone in the New York City metro area who is 18 and up. Check out the links in the description of this video to check out that opportunity or others that Udacity is currently offering. You can also follow me on social media where I share lots of opportunities like this as well. So the first specialization that I wanted to bring to your attention is WordPress. WordPress is the most popular content management system that is used on the internet right now to build websites and I really just don't think you can go wrong with it. I would suggest that you get familiar with the platform, what plugins are the most helpful for the types of websites that you would be building, and you might even decide that you want to learn a little PHP as well, but either way, you're going to be able to build some very amazing, powerful, beautiful websites with all of the tools that are available to build on WordPress, so you really can't go wrong. The next specialization is also a platform, and that is Shopify. Shopify has been growing in popularity for the building of e-commerce websites, which has really taken off since the global thing has happened, and I definitely think that you can't go wrong with this as well. If you wanna get into Shopify, I suggest you get familiar with the platform, learn the best practices of how to build websites that are highly converting, and also just get in touch with what types of plugins and integrations that you can use to make sure that the websites that you build are as successful as they can be. The next specialization is building mobile applications. Of course, because we always have our cell phones with us, mobile applications is only going to continue to grow in popularity. You can specialize even further in mobile development by the type of operating system that is used, such as Apple or Android. And I would also suggest getting familiar with different building platforms that might be out there that might help development be a little bit easier for mobile applications. I would also suggest that you learn the process of getting apps into the App Store or into Google Play because this could be a service that you offer also to just make the process easier to get apps up and running for the clients that you take on. Another specialization that I think is really growing in popularity is becoming a customer management developer on platforms like HubSpot or Salesforce. These days, companies of all sizes are using platforms like this to manage the relationships that they have with the customers that they have so that they can either automate the processes or make them a little easier. As a specialist in customer management development, you might be helping with migration, the development of different systems or applications, or even just automating regular tasks that they have to do for the regular maintenance of the relationships that they hold with their customers. I would suggest getting familiar with one of those platforms and really deep diving into the value that you can bring on a platform like that. Another super popular specialization that you could dive into is either UX or UI design. Design is a crucial element of any application or website that is out there to make sure that the customer experience is in line and also to make sure that the brand elements that are required for whatever customer you are working with is shining through in whatever it is that you build for them. 
As a UX designer, you might be working to make sure that whatever applications or websites that you work on are really suited to the types of customers that will be visiting the site. And in UI, you might be really focusing on making sure that the brand element uh, or visual brand identity is really shining through on the things that you build or on the website that you are working on. UX UI design is a super important element because it can really help UX UI design is really important because it can really help to increase the conversions that are made on websites or applications and just in general making sure that the customer's experience on a website or application is at the highest level that it can be, which will translate to more money spent usually and higher conversions for the businesses that you're serving. The next specialization is getting into data analytics and visualization. We live in a data-driven world and learning platforms or frameworks like D3JS or high charts to be able to turn data into visually accessible information is going to be super important for lots of businesses. So I definitely think learning how to use some of these frameworks is going to be very helpful for you to pull in clients that need that type of work. The next specialization that is definitely growing in popularity is either AWS or other cloud services. Using the cloud allows businesses to be able to scale and automate a lot faster than usual, and this is going to be super important for customers that are highly data driven. Becoming an expert in AWS and how to set customers up, create systems, and even manage their data that is coming into the cloud is definitely going to help you stand out in the industry for those customers that are highly data-driven and looking to scale and start integrating the cloud into the systems that they already use. Next, you should look into AR or VR specializations. Because our world is quickly moving into Web3, where virtual reality and augmented reality are becoming extremely popular, I definitely think getting into this and becoming an expert in one of these fields would really help you to stand out in the industry. Something as simple as learning how to use the tools that allow you to create AR filters for apps like Instagram and TikTok can really help you stand out and keep a steady flow of customers in your pipeline. I would suggest looking into things like Spark, 3.js, Blender, or even TikTok for how to create these types of filters to be able to stand out in the industry and start pulling in those clients. If you already have some design skills, you may also wanna look into specializing into graphics and animations. Creating logo graphics or animations for video production is very popular. And because we are in a world that is increasingly content focused, I definitely think having a specialization like this one would help you to keep your customer pipeline full so that you can continue to maintain income with freelancing. The final specialization that I want to suggest to you is being a funnel or system design expert. For businesses that have more complex systems, sometimes setting up integrations, funnels, or more automated systems can be really daunting to those who are within that company. Becoming an expert on how to set up complex automations that can be integrated into websites or other systems and applications will really help you to stand out in the industry. I personally know a lot of small business owners who have hired these types of experts to help run complicated systems in their businesses to help pull in clients regularly. To get into this type of expertise, I would definitely look into Zapier, ClickFunnels, and other types of funnel builders that are out there, and any CRMs or CMSs that allow this type of functionality. So that is all I have for you today, but of course, this list is not extensive. These are just ones that I have found to be very popular. I would encourage you to think outside of the box and get creative about the types of services and specializations that you can offer to help you stand out in the industry. I would especially encourage you to try to look for things that play to the strengths and skills that you already have. All right, guys. As always, I love you, I'm rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.